Hey, this is Zero, and today I'm gonna answer a question I get asked a lot, and that is, um, how do you do quickenings? How do you get black hole? Well, I I tend to answer that like it's hard to explain or it's very hard, and um, and uh, I don't usually answer that question because it's really hard to explain, but today I'm going to do my best um, to explain how to do quick innings. And I, th I do think it's the hardest part of an order of ambrosia run um, to do the quick innings. So, uh, first thing you want to make sure of when you start your chain is that everyone all your characters have uh, three quickenings and their MP is full. Um, it is possible to get black hole without those, um, but you know it's just easier if you start with an optimal situation. Uh, also, you need to make sure your party members are not dead, berserked, stopped, disabled, asleep, confused, stoned, or exoned. Out of those, the most important parts are dead and berserked, because those happen most often, but keep the rest of them in mind as well. Um, and first I'm gonna explain a little bit how the quickenings work. So each character has three missed bars, bars and uh, performing a level 1 quickening consumes 1, uh, con uh, level 2 quickening costs 2, and level 3 quickening costs 3 missed bars. And during a quickening chain, you can fill those missed bars by getting a missed charge. And how it works is that the game rolls um, whether your character is going to get a level 1, 2 or 3 quickening, and it does it for each, quicken each character. And um, you can use the R2 button to shuffle new rolls if you don't like what you're seeing. And um, if the character has enough missed bars to use the quickening they roll, um, you can use that quickening. Uh, if it if you don't get it, get it, then it's either grayed out or you get a missed charge, and the chance is uh, one one in eight chance to get a missed charge uh, for each character that's get, get that gets a quickening that they can't afford. And uh, that chance is lower, or the chance is better if you have less party members, but you usually want three if you want, if you are aiming for black hole. But it is more likely to get uh, mischarges per character if you have less characters in your party, but you still want to do three. Um, and Last thing about the mechanics I want to talk about is the time you have left after um, after you or for your next to perform your next quickening. So it's actually very simple. It's just the average of the time you had previously and um, how many, much you had remaining when you chose the action. So if you have three ex 3.5 seconds remaining when you get your when you start your uh, when the timer starts ticking down and you end up with 2.5 seconds remaining when you choose your quickening, then you will as for the next uh, selection you have you will have three seconds time because that's the average of 3.5 and 2.5. So that's it about uh, mechanics. Then. Let's go into the decision-making part, which is the, probably the most difficult part. Um, first thing to know that most of the time, if you have the mischarge available, choose it. Um, mischarge, as I mentioned earlier, it refills your MP bars and or missed bars, and um, you need at least some mischarges to get um, black hole. And refilling your mischarge mischarges gives you more chances for quickenings. It makes it allows you to get longer chains and better chances for better uh, concurrencies. 
So, uh, if you have multiple characters with Mischarge available, always choose the one who has the least um, amount of missed bars remaining. And this leads to my next point, which is to always try to remember how many missed bars each of your characters have. Um, that is very important uh, for for that and for another thing that's coming up later. Um, and second part of the decision making is to try to optimize the mischarge CC you use. So every for every mischarge you get, try to get three mist bars full of um, uh, quickenings to get worth it. So either try to get three. Try to get a level 3 quickening, or try to get a level 2 and a level 1 quickening. And mischarges are pretty rare, so you want to get you want to get away with you getting as as a few of them as you can. And um, you want that's the, like for this reason you want to empty your character's mist bars entirely so that they can um get the full mischarges like if you only use a level 2 quickening and then get a mischarge it only only um gives you two mischarges but missed bars back but if you use it on someone where it, for whom you use the level 3 quickening you get the full thing back so um that's kind of what you want to do and if you optimize every mischarge like this you only need five mischarges to get black hole. This is along with the initial three full mist mist bars that you have at the beginning when, if you start on full full uh, MP on everyone. And yeah. So easiest way to empty the character's mist bar, as I mentioned, is using a level three quickening, and that's also why you should um, open with a level three quickening so that you are use the entire entire um and you use all the missed bars of that character and then you and thus you get uh if, if you get a mischarge immediately for that character you get full mp back or full mis mischarges back immediately so it's very very nice if you if that happens of course it's luck it depends on luck but um a lot of things in quickenings do depend on luck um, and yeah, the, the other way is to use a level 2 and a level 1 quickening. You can use level 2 first and then level 1, or level 1 first and level 2, one, and then level 2. Um, uh, that's another way, and you're going to need to do that a couple of times. Um, try to avoid doing three level 1 quickenings, because... Um, If you if you get a level three, if you get three level one quickenings, you're not really gaining a mischarge because, uh, like you're going to have to do an extra, extra charge because um, you can only get one level two or level three quickening, or um, per mist mischarge, and you are going to need four level. Four, four level three and four level two quickening. So that's eight total of missed mischarges you need minimum. And if you're doing a mischarge without a single level three or level two quickening, then you're going to need another one because you need those eight at least. Um. So this also means that if you have used a level one, uh quickening with a character, then your highest priority is to use a level 2 quickening with that same character. And uh, vice versa, if you have used level 2 quickening, your highest priority is to use a level 1 quickening with that character. Um, there's another thing I like to do. This is, I'm, this I'm not sure if... Um, this, I'm not sure if I should, um, if you should do or not shouldn't, but I do it. Um, so I like to keep one character always at 
will miss missed bars. This means that um, even even if I have a if, even if the other characters get nothing and I have one character with with full missed bars missed bars, um, I can keep shuffling and try to get missed charges for the other two characters. And um, and if I'm about to run run out of time, then I can pick up the uh, use the final character and sa it saves me from running out of time and gives, gives me a little bit more time to get more mischarges. Um, yeah, that I then, then I always have one last resort and um, that can extend my chain. But yeah, I'm not sure if that's the optimal play, but that's what I found pretty su successful. So, another thing you need to pay attention to is how many quickenings you have already gotten. This is maybe a little bit obvious, but um, because you you need only you need level four, level one, four, level two, and four, level three quickenings for black hole. So if you already have four uh, level four quickenings, there's like even if you get a um, level three quickening. And that would empty your bar, and I said emptying bars is important, but if you already have the four, four level three quickenings, you should not, there should be no need to get a fifth one, you would just be wasting a missed charge if you do that. Um, also, also paying attention is good, because then you can think like, uh, well, if you already have like three level quickenings and no level one or two quickenings, then you might want to prioritize a level two quickening over a level three quickening, even if, um, e even though level three is technically better. <clears throat> so, um, in summary, I did make a um, priority list that I, you can see over here. This is a general priority order. Um, and as you can see, a lot of it, you need to, you need to fig know how many missed bars they have remaining. So you prioritize missed charges and, um, and you start with the lowest amount of, um, lowest amount of missed bars remaining. So, um, it is, of course, if you already have the mischarges you need for the black hole, then you don't get mischarges, but this is a general order. And then you, you might be wondering, like, why would be a level 2 quickening be the highest priority? But that's only if they have two missed bars remaining. And that is because you want to empty their queues and you want to be able to um, take full advantage of those mischarges. If you have a if you have three missed bars, uh, you always have the option to get a level three uh, quickening, but you can also uh, get a you can also you can also do the two two and one or one and two uh, to get to empty the bar. So there are more options if you have three missed bars. But if you have only two missed bars remaining, your only option to get uh, rid of it, rid of it all at once is to get a level two quickening. So that's why level two quickening with two missed bars remaining is your num number one priority after the missed charges. And after, and same argument goes for goes, goes towards level one quickening uh, of a character with one missed bar remaining. It's about the emptying of the um, missed bars. Um, it is lower on priority than level 2, because um, level 1 quickenings are easier to get than level 2 ones. And um, you can, like with one missed charge you can get 3 level 1 quickenings, so... So yeah. Um, also these are situational as well, because if you have a lot of level 2 and level 1 quickenings, then you might be prioritizing up prioritizing level 3 quickenings instead. Next one is level 3 quickening. Um, they are very good. Get them if you can. 
but note that sometimes level two and level one quickenings can be more can be better. And then level if you don't have if you if ever if you don't have any level three quickenings available, um, use level two quickenings. If you don't have any of those available, get, take level ones. And um, level one quickenings with a character with two missed bars remaining is usually a wrong play. Don't do it unless y you like need to for time and stuff. Usually shuffle is better than taking a level one quickening of a character with two missed bars remaining. Just saying. Um, yeah, that that's like the general idea. Um, I'll keep that uh, list there, and I want to go through an example where I got black hole in my order from Brocheron. <coughs> so I have the vote up, and as you can see, I have uh, three level, um, uh, three level. Um, all, all three characters have full MP, and they have three quickenings. And I'm starting with a level three quickening. So let's go over this. So first decision here. I get a um, I get a mischarge immediately. That's really that's the optimal start. I immediately get Bosch's MP full. That's or missed missed bars full. And um, using a miss using getting a mischarge also shuffles the others. So I get this choice of a level two, level one, and level two quickenings. And Honestly, I should pick a level two one, but be but I was a little bit hasty and was just messing uh, square, so I picked up the Bosch's level one instead. But that that's that's all right if you get Bosch's um, level two quickening later. But yeah, a little bit a little bit of a mistake there already, but you you have some wiggle space in getting black hole. If you get lucky enough, but if 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 I had gotten unluckier, then this could have been a brutal mistake and cost me the thingy. But yeah, ne next, uh, I I am now I have one level one and one level three quickening, and I get B Vaughn's level three, and Bosch doesn't have a choice. Ash has level one. Um, there. Like I didn't get Bosch's level two quickening, which would have been the optimal. So I pick up uh, Vaughn's Vaughn's level three one then, and then I have one level um, one quickening and two level three quickenings so far. So I keep that in mind, and I keep my, keep in mind still that Bosch has two missed missed bars remaining. So M Bosch's level two is the priority right now, and I get it in the next one. So that's a very nice one. Uh, the highest priority move there with no mischarges. If one had gotten a mischarge, it would have been better, or even Bosch's, I think. But yeah, this was uh, this was good, and you could you might have noticed that Ash had a level three quickening, but I chose to take Bosch's level two because Bosch only had two missed bars remaining, and I wanted to I want to keep Ash's. Um, Missed bars fooled so that I have the last resort in case I run out of time. And then the next decision, I get an instant mischarge, which is very lucky. I take the mischarge, and I'm a little bit too hasty here, um, because Va Bosch also got a mischarge there, so I should have also charged Bosch's um, Bosch's um, missed bars. But getting level three quickening with Vaughn is very good. It's a very good good approach, and it doesn't matter that I missed it because I got lucky and uh, Bosch got another mischarge. Um, and this time I was not too hasty, and I saw Vaughn's mischarge as well, so I picked that one as well. And Vaughn got a level 3 quickening, so I got another, th another level 3 quickening there. And uh, so now I have... Uh, 
I have one, one, and four now. Yeah, one level one, one level two, and four level three quickening. So I'm down with level threes now. And I get another mischarge for Vaughn, which is very lucky. I did get very lucky in this uh, attempt, getting so many mischarges. But with that mischarge, I have all the mischarges I need for the rest of rest of this. Because everyone's now at full full um mist bars and um Everyone's at full mist bars and uh, I need 3 level 1 and 3 level 2 quickenings. So if I only pick th level 2 and level 1, like I pick 1 level 2 and 1 level 1 uh, quickening for each character, and I have black hole. So here I get the choice of um, 2 level 1 quickenings and 1 level 2. You should pick a level 2 because it's a it's, uh, priority. Like it's better, to, like you need one only one mischarge to get level one quickening. So you should get the level two quickenings over level one quickenings if you can. But now that Bosch has picked up the level two, and I'm at one level one, two level two, four level three quickenings. So now Bosch's level one quickening would be the priority, and level two quickening for either of uh, either other character would be the next priority. Um, I didn't. I don't get Bashir's level one, so I pick Vaughn's level two here. Um, so that's the that's that was pretty much the second best choice. It would it would wouldn't have mattered whether I picked Vaughn's or Ashes, but Ash didn't get a level two, so Vaughn was better. Vaughn was the way to go there. And here is an interesting situation. I get two mischarges and one level one quickening. Um, I can. I, I think any play is right. Like you, or at least um, I would accept any. I would accept taking a mischarge here, even though you have all the mischarges here, because Ash has full MP and uh, or full mist bars and getting level one quickening for her here. Isn't that uh, uh, useful? But I decided to pick it up anyway. It might have been the wrong play, I'm not sure, but it's it goes it goes um, with my idea of that I have enough mischarges. I don't need any more. Then I only get one once level one, but that's good because. Um, Getting Vaughn's level one is fine. Now Ash has Ash has two and Bosch has one mist bar, and I need one and I need only one of each. So um, here I get a little bit unlucky. I have Ash's level one, and this is why getting the mist charge might have been a better option there anyway, because now I need to get Ash's level two or Bosch's level one, and uh, I get a little bit unlucky. I shuffle. And I still get Ashes level 1. And I shuffle again a couple of times before I actually get... Uh, I get this situation where I am very low on time. I have Bashish level 1 and I have Mischarge on both. And I think I should have picked here uh, Bashis level 1. Quickening there. And I would have needed Ashes level two or another character would get a mischarge later. Um, I ended up picking up mischarge for Ash here, probably because I was running out of time and I got I got a little bit nervous and panicky. Um, but getting Ashes mischarge here was definitely the wrong choice because Vaughn's mischarge would have been better since Vaughn had full and full uh, mist bars, and I, for Ash had two remaining so. That only that was definitely the worst play I could have picked, but I did pick up it, pick it up, and I did get Ashes level two, so it ended up working out. Uh, but it was a bad play on my part to pick. Uh, I I did get unlucky in that I needed like three shuffles to get anything good, and uh, the miss. Uh, but I did make a mistake of uh, picking up the miss charge, but it ended up working out. Uh, so now I only need one level one quickening, and 
Ash and Ash both have one missed bar and they both actually they all as you can see they all roll a level one quickening but Van does not have missed a uh, bar to do it. So I you can pick up any anything here, it doesn't matter. I think I picked up Bashis. Yeah, I picked up picked Bashish and that's black hole. And uh that's how I got black hole in my uh in my PB. Now I do say I did get a little very lucky with mischarges, but you pro you probably saw most of the uh thing is that I explained later there. I hope so. Yeah. I made a I made a few mistakes. Mostly stuck to my priority list and did get a black hole. I did get very lucky, so the mistakes didn't matter. Um But yeah, do note that even if you execute my plan perfectly, you still need to get a little bit lucky with mischarges to get black hole, so you might not get it every time. It's um It's not nowhere near nowhere near guaranteed. Actually, you're very much more likely to not get it than um to get it. Um and yes, um this also does apply to the zodiac age. I don't I don't like nothing is different for black hole in zodiac age. I think. Um. And yeah, this was done on the PS2 version. But yeah, uh, this is the tutorial. Hopefully it helps you. Um, I'm gonna upload this to YouTube. And um, yeah, hopefully you can get your black holes now.